Let's go and see what this shit's about in here. Let's have a nose around. Locked. Locked fast. Hello, hello. What is this? It's a flash looking terminal. Access local login Kellogg. Notes, the boy Sean successfully delivered back to the Institute. Payment received, new orders to track down Renegade, gathered reinforcements, cleared out and secured Fort Hagen. We move out soon. Open doors. There must be these doors. Yes! Got Hagen's gun, 44 Magnum, sweet. Be more in here than just that shit. Where are we? Quick way out. Come on. Come on. Get in the lift. Hey. Move here. Get in the lift. Here. Going up. Chill. Bloody hell, how deep was we? Man, we must have been way deep underground. Roof access. A oh, roof access they're on now. Why we're on the roof? Deactivate. Yes. Don't want to be walking out into a fucking turret. There's five of them. Door control. Sweet. Out on the roof. What the fuck is that? People of the Commonwealth. Do not interfere. Our intentions are peaceful. We are the Brotherhood of Steel. That's fucking mental. What are they all doing here? Objectives? What's our objectives? Discuss your findings with Nick. Right. Back to Diamond City then. Come on, Nicky. I'm just asking for your opinion. Would be a great quote. He's my client, Piper. Why don't you learn not to snoop on a man's private affairs? Well, well. Speak of the devil. You're back. And not with your son. 
what happened? Where do you want me to start? The part where Kellogg turned out to be working for the Institute? Or the part where he told me they have Sean? The Institute? Oh, boy. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. That makes things considerably more complicated. He ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth, and even he doesn't know how to get in. No synth does. Security protocols strip those memories out. Bullshit. You're a synth, Valentine. Tell me what you know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, Blue. It's all right. The man's clearly upset. Look, Piper's right. Sad thing is, I have no idea. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night. And sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg? Huh. What about him? He had to have a way in and out. But am I right in thinking he's not available for a chin wag? Uh, yeah, pretty much, yeah. We can talk to him. Feel like holding a seance? Hmm. A literal dead end, huh? So, a murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. He wasn't going to talk. Even if I had a way of bringing him in alive. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari, the mind behind the memories. There's no way that could ever work. <clears throat> Stay with me on this. We get a piece of Kellogg's gray matter and take it to Amari. Then we see if she's got the goods to pull this off. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Yeah. I'm gonna need a really sharp ice cream scoop. I'm sure you'll manage. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm going to introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. It's you and me, Nick. Let's get going. Um, I don't really want him going anywhere, but... Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. Uh, well, you two are out. I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be at the public if you need me. And by the way, at some point, you owe me an interview. I want to hear how this whole story got started. Yeah, yeah, all right. I'll do it after this job. Come on, Nicholas. Hey, toss anything you can't haul my way. But well, funny you should say that. Actually, there's a shop in here. I got some stuff on the cell. Every weapon you see here could be the difference between life and death, baby. 
Well, let's hope so. I've got a few minutes to browse. Purchase a variety in case of boredom. Good idea. <clears throat> Too many folks these days count on violence to solve their problems. You only have to look around to see where that got us. Brotherhood of Steel. Better stay out of good neighbor. All I'm saying. Six last raider attack. Folks bombing so many Can't games, believe it. I don't even remember the rest you look of just like Sammy, too. He sure as hell didn't yeah. act like him. Institute thinks they can replace people with synths in this town? They got another thing coming. <sighs> what am I gonna tell his mother? Hey, just your friendly neighborhood watch. Shooting down Institute spies as they crop up. Well, well, Mr. Valentine. I Did you get any? You had forgotten about the lonely. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. Ma'am. Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. This one's all yours, Nick. We need a memory dig, Amari, but it's not going to be easy. The perp, Kellogg, is already cold on the floor. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact living brains to function. I mean, technically, the corpse was defiled already. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? The brain? Yeah, well... Could you say that like Dr. Frankenstein? Ego, fetch me the brain! No? No, I will not. Now, do you have it? Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait, that's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Nick's an older model since. Is he compatible? That's exactly what I was thinking. If we are lucky, it should hook right in. But even if this works, Mr. Valentine would be taking on a tremendous amount of risk. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. Let's do it. We should try plugging you into a toaster next. Mmm, fresh toast. Uh, it's nice to know that even when I'm about to have a foreign object shoved into my noggin, you find new horrible ways to laugh at my expense. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine, just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. You'll be fine, Nick. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. I'm um, almost... Any change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Damn it! Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. 
The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. Relax the host wow. while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Whoa. Nick and I are going to share a mind? Yeah, I'm not going to see him in any compromising positions, am I? Yeah, if a smart mouth was all it took to solve problems, we would have found your son by now. Um, uh, no. You won't have to worry about that. The only memories you'll access are the ones in the implant. Any idea what I'm going to see in there? I have no clue. But considering we only have a single piece of the medial temporal lobe and not the whole brain, I doubt it'll be cohesive. All right. right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. Oh, I'll be keeping more than my You're fingers crossed, side. love. It's the other side. Don't say that. That sounds really ominous, Nick. For fuck's sake, man. Let's see you on the other side. What are you thinking? Perfect. Includes Grognak the Barbarian holotape game. What's that, that one then? One I'm going to have to check some of these games out, I think. Oh, she's got loads of stuff here, look. Yoink, 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 yoink. Sorry, but I may need all of that. Right, you want me to sit here, do you? Please stand by. Standing by. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. 